Hi you guys, welcome in, welcome back. This is Stay Stace. Today is hashtag Fun Car Friday. This is an open collaboration being hosted by Kelly, who is KS Designs, and Tony with Creative Chica Halls and Crafts. This is an open collaboration that you can join every Friday, and all you have to do is show a card, any holiday, a friendship card, birthday card, etc. So these are some of the cards that I have been creating this week. I am trying to get out some Thanksgiving cards. And I also had some pie dies in my stash that I definitely wanted to use. So this first card here uses this pie die and this is a shaker die. And I'm pretty sure this is cast craft, but don't quote me on that. But it is a cutie. I've had it in my stash now probably for a couple of years. But this is my first time doing something in a Thanksgiving theme with it. So I was super, super happy to pull it out and use it. So I just have a plain white card base here. This is an A2 size card, a textured panel on top of that. And I had an embossing folder that said blessings and thanks and celebrate and nice little things like that. And I just cut it in half on the diagonal. Someone gave me this like washi tape or sticker type paper type vinyl. I'm not sure what it is um, in a swap last year. And I wanted to use it as like a trim or something. And I also like the way that it ties the colors all in together. So really cute. And then I have a sentiment here. So thankful for all you do. And I did heat emboss that in gold. And then there is the shaker. Super, super cute. I just have some maple leaves and some other little sequins in there. I did do full stitching with the white jelly roll pin. I think it was number 10 all the way around. And then this die also had full stitching in it, but I highlighted it even more using that white jelly roll. I also used my glitter pen, my Wink of Stella, on the little frosting here and the dollop of frosting there. And I think that it turned out really, really cute. This is just the inside and I don't have anything on the back. Using that same die, I created card number two. And this one says Sweetie Pie. That Sweetie Pie came in a little set. Um... And I just used the sentiment sweetie pie on this one and I layered it up just a bit, added a little gold doily down here. This is a little banner die here and then some gold leaves that I have in my stash, stash as well and I just layered them up. And then the same thing with the Wink of Stella on the icing here. And yeah, I think this card turned out really, really cute. And so far, all I did was just line the inside of the card. So that is card number two. This is card number three and says, Hello Autumn. I think that this one layered up super cute. And for this pie, I use the Spellbinders Cutting Die S41183, the perfect pies. And then I also think I use this delicious decorations die. This is S3442. And actually, maybe I didn't use this die on this pumpkin. Okay, so the dollop that's on this pie actually came from this die set. So, so I just mixed and matched it a little bit. And then some of these maple leaves that I have in the background were given to me by Cat Kaz and Callie. So thank you. And this Hello Autumn was a part of a rub on from Dollar Tree. I have some glitter paper in the background, this little pumpkin sticker here. And I think that it turned out really, really cute. So that's card number three. This is card number four, and this pie uses this die, the Perfect Pies die, and I think the flower and the maple leaf that's on here came out of this delicious decorations pack. This cute little die in the background was also in my stash, and I cut it on some white glitter paper. I think that that turned out so cute. This oval panel is another die that I had in my stash, and I popped that up on some foam tape and just made this cute little card. So that is card number four, all of my little pie cards. And this next set of cards are for hashtag build a church. If you build it, they will come. This is a challenge that's being hosted by Diana, who is Diana Loves Colors here on YouTube. She is trying to raise money for her church's building fund, and the way she's doing that is selling cards. And I think that that is such a wonderful idea. Diana is super, super sweet, so I definitely wanted to join in on her challenge. All she's asking for is one card, put it in an envelope, and then put it in a plastic sleeve as well. So I have to get my plastic sleeves out. 
She would like them to be faith-based, but they don't have to be faith-based. And she will have three prizes for her challenge. So definitely go and check her out. She has some awesome prizes. And this challenge is good until November the 30th. And so this is the first card that I am sending her. It says, ho, ho, ho. I had to dig deep in my Christmas stash. Y'all know I am not on Christmas yet. <laughs> um, but I use this Spellbinders cutting die. This is the Holiday Word Blocks S5430. I believe I got this from Tuesday morning. And so it comes with all of these awesome sentiments. And so I cut out ho, ho, ho. And so on this card, I cut out ho, ho, ho in the gold. And then I actually paper pieced this red glitter paper into all of the openings. That took so much time. <laughs> it was totally worth it. I really like the way that turned out. And then I used some green stickles on the holly leaves and then some red diamond dots on here. And then this little fancy die cut in the background. I did die cut this white layer in the background, but then this striped paper is actually a pre-made card base from Hobby Lobby. I believe I got it last year on sale. Oh, that says 2018 Hobby Lobby, <laughs> but I do think I got this last year on sale. So super, super cute. And let's see, I also did this one with the same die cut, but instead of filling in all of the letters, I had it cut one time in gold, and then I have it cut again in the red glitter paper, and I just offset it just a little bit, so it created that cute little effect. I really, really like that. I just had this black and white checkered print on my desk already, so I grabbed it and made a background with it. I have this gold in the background. It's on a white card base, and then I just added this cute little red ribbon. So that's card number two for Diana. And then I had these big stickers. It's from the Paper Studio by Hobby Lobby. So I wanted to use a couple of those on some cards as well. I forgot that I did stamp a sentiment in this one. And this one says, may you find the gentle peace of Christ the Lord in the hush of this holy season. And I love that sentiment. And then in this one, it just says, Jesus is the reason for the season. So here I did use a die cut panel for the background. I used this cute paper in the background. This one just says, you are the light of the world. I have a little Prima flower here. And then I also have a layer of blue textured paper in the background and it's on a white card base. This is just how I finished it on the inside and just my little sticker on the back. So super, super cute. And then this one is the last card and it just says glory to God. I added a little cute pink double bow here with that gold trim on it. These gold panels were the negative from this card. Actually, it cut out three of those panels. And so I used two of them and made a cute little card layout. On the inside, I just have a mat and my sticker on the back. So these four cards are the cards that I am sending to Diana for her challenge. You guys still have time to enter her challenge if you're interested. And then I also need to get my little pumpkin thank you cards in the mail. Check out everyone who is posting to hashtag fun card Friday today and definitely check out Diana's challenge. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.